Hey, come see me do live stand up in Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Davenport, Iowa, and Las Vegas. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. So Joe Biden addressed the graduating cadets at the West Point Military Academy oh because he wanted to visit Los Angeles. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> he was uh, sad about that bill they passed. <laughs> yeah. So uh, here it is. Nothing will inspire a graduate, graduates of West Point like the commander in chief petering to a stop as he either forgets or loses interest in the story he's telling. You ready for this? This is great. Watch this. Putin was certain that NATO would fracture. I met with him right after being elected president before, right after I was sworn in. And we talked about this very issue. In the fall, he had tied that fall. He decided to, uh, look, I shouldn't get into this problem. <laughs> It gets me a little excited. A little excited. Dude, look, look. Hey, come on, man. We Ever get... since he converted over to solar power, he dims every time he steps into the shade. <laughs> it's like, That's what that solar is. Solar power. Yes. <laughs> you solar see the... power doesn't work. <laughs> this, 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 he stepped into the shade and he dims Bro, right out. Well, certainly. And look they... at the, look at the emotional range he has here. He goes whenever he gets excited, he goes. He has an emotional range from A all the way to B. <laughs> Watch this. Would fracture. I met with him right after being elected president before, right after I was sworn in. And we talked about this very issue. In the fall, he had tied that fall. He decided to, uh, look, I shouldn't get into this problem. <laughs> you shouldn't? It gets me a little excited. You shouldn't get into it at the what? At the, what? Uh... Glockford file says after barely being able to walk on stage, Joe Biden has to beg for applause. You want to watch this? Watch this. Watch this. Don't forget America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power, but by the power of our example. You can clap for that. <laughs> well, that's not even the prompter. He actually that, just begged for, for claps. That is that is unbelievable. Permission to clap, sir. Permission to clap. <laughs> Remember who did that before? <laughs> So here's my pledge to you. I will be a commander in chief that will have the back of the military. I won't trash talk. I won't be a divider in chief or an agitator in chief. I won't be out there blowharding, talking a big, big game without backing it up. I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. <laughs> I never saw this. You never saw that? <laughs> Please clap. <laughs> That's his own audience. He has to prompt them to clap. I'm not going to be out there blow harden. He says blow harden. Oh. So that's the problem with Trump. He's blow harden. We're going to get back to peace. The guy whose brother killed a million people and allied us into an illegal war and then ordered a torture program for it. He's going to bring us back to peace. You got to be you got to be willing to go kill some people for peace. But the, that's not the story here. The story here is is Joe Biden. Never forget America is the strongest when we lead not only by our example of our power but by the power of our example. Clap, you can clap for that. Clap for that. Clap, 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 clap. I can't even, he can't even speak anymore. Come on, man. We got, we got to get China Israel, man. It's, uh... they're, a, they're a sitcom audience. Just, you're supposed to just say applause. You're not supposed to say clap. At least buy an applause sign. Like buy an applause sign production. like Jimmy Kimmel and Conan O'Brien. Has Conan O'Brien, that... <laughs> I have such a thing for I, I had such high hopes for Conan O'Brien, and he never got good. His show always sucked. He never got good, and he never told a joke without an employee. When he went out on tour, he played music. You know. They didn't do comedy. He's never done comedy without an applause sign above his head. Is he a stand-up? I thought he was a writer from... He, he was hosting Link. a late-night talk show, and he did stand-up every fucking night, Kurt. He did stand-up every fucking yeah, night. I don't count that as stand-up. I don't. That, okay. The opening monologue. He did comedy. So when he toured, he, yeah. you'd think he would do a foot. Maybe you'd do a sketch. Maybe. I don't know. You do some kind of comedy. No, they didn't this do comedy. Is about, like what he does. 
They, they don't do he doesn't, doesn't do comedy without an applause sign above his head. You didn't buy tickets to this, did you? No, oh. I, no. <laughs> <laughs> Sound like somebody really spent a hundred bucks and did not get their money's worth. Well, he's dead now, so I guess it's. <laughs> yeah, he's dead. He's dead now. <laughs> Uh, you know, I think I have a chip on my shoulders because when I my book came out, the uh, they wanted me to get the the publishers wanted me to get on late night TV. So I sent a video to Conan O'Brien. I hadn't I hadn't tried to get on late night talk shows in years. Mm -hmm. um, and um, the guy who did the booking for <laughs> Conan O'Brien's show for the comedians, literally two pages of notes. About about book? my about my six minute stand up tape. Okay. Two pages of notes. What were the notes saying? I was like, "This isn't good. That's wrong. This joke we've heard before." That I'm like, "Are you out of your fuck?" I'm funnier than the guy, ten times funnier than the guy who hosts the show, and you never did comedy. How about you just say, "Come do your my show or not? We're gonna pass." Don't give me two pages of fucking notes. Oh, yeah, they all started doing it. They have all been doing that. Well, I guess that's why I don't do the late night comedy st stand up, right? The more important question is who gives a shit about that? No, I, not me. They do that. They do that to you. They give you yes. fucking pages of notes. Well, I don't want pages of notes, but every single time I had to do a late night, I would talk to the dude. Well, we about you, my set. you but talk it about pages of notes. So you talk get, to somebody about your set. They would say, "Hey, maybe do this joke and don't do that one." Because they're all. I, they're almost like intel to let you know how the crowd's going to be and like how they're already primed to be. So. I, don't know, I I was on the phone. I didn't get like, I don't know. I didn't do it with like pages. I don't remember. I remember talking to the guy on the phone. Yeah, you talk to the guy. I, oh. Yeah, you talk to the guy. Uh, I remember I love the guy. Uh, no, I'm why blanking on his name. He used to book the Late Late Show with Craig is Kilborn. It, is it Bart? Bart, yeah, Bart. Oh, Bart was great. I'd always talk to Bart. But the guy before Bart or after, I think it was a guy before, uh, I saw him somewhere like at a restaurant and he goes, hey, when do you come back on the show? I go, whenever. He goes, send me a set. So I sent him a set, and he's like, all right, good. <laughs> that was that. Yeah, well, I don't know when your book came out, but all those late night things were... It was 2014. Yeah, that's probably one of the hardest times to get on. Uh, uh, anything like that. Who gives a sh and those, 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 and so if someone get and that's the whole thing, like, there's that guy, Ismo. Have you heard of that guy, that new yeah. comedian? He's pretty funny. Yeah. So, so he went on Conan... And then his set took off, right? His stand-up set. But it didn't take off because of Conan. It took off because of fucking Facebook. Mm -hmm. it, nobody was like, hey, did you see Conan last night? It was like, hey, I'm passing this thing around on Facebook. Mm -hmm. It wasn't because of Conan. You come see me on tour in Rutherford, New Jersey, Minneapolis, Minnesota, Ontario, California, Las Vegas, Davenport, Iowa, Chicago, Illinois. We're doing a live panel video show, special surprise guests on that show, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets, and make sure you go to Jimmy Door because they don't want to buy it from a second reseller. Mm -hmm.